The park has dramatic scenery, with waterfalls, forests, mountains, and glaciers. Its 630 square kilometers, 240 square miles, include parts of the Fagnano and Roca lakes. The Senda Costera, coastal path connecting Ensenada Bay to Lapatia Bay on Lago Roca, is a popular hiking trail within the park. Forests of Antarctic Beach, Lenga Beach, and Koyu in the lower elevations of the park are home to many animal species. There are 20 species of terrestrial mammals, including the guanaco, Andean fox, North American beaver, European rabbit and muskrat. Among the 90 species of birds are the kelp goose, torrent duck, austral parakeet, Andean condor, blackish oyster catcher, and Magellanic oyster catcher. The first Europeans who came to explore the southern tip of South America saw the campfires of the native inhabitants of the area, the Yaghan people, also called Yemena. The Spanish explorers hence named the area, Tierra del Fuego, meaning, Land of the Fires, in Spanish. Humans inhabited Tierra del Fuego as far back as 10,000 years ago. The Yaghan people, living in the harsh environment, survived on the natural resources of the sea. They lived on its beaches and made voyages into the sea in canoes made of Lenga beach, hunted sea lions, and collected shellfish. They lived in huts made of tree branches and trunks and clothed themselves with leather made from sea lion pelts. They smeared their body with the fat and grease of these animals to waterproof their skins. The southern group of the Selkanam, the Yaghan people, also known as Yamuna, occupied what is now Ushwaya, living in continual conflict with the northern inhabitants of the island. City is now an important tourist center as the departure point not only for the park but also for voyages to Antarctica. Following the establishment of a prison in Ushwaya, in late 1909 and early 1910 the railway line called the Southern Fusion Railway or the End of the World Train was established as a narrow-gauge steam railway, replacing an old wood track railway drawn by bullocks. The steam engine-driven railway was built over a length of 25 kilometers, 16 miles, along the Maipu Avenue on the waterfront, followed the eastern slope of Mount Susana, and branched through the middle of the Pipo River Valley into the Tierra del Fuego National Park. The line made with decoval tracks of 500 mm, 20 in, gauge, connected the prison camp with the forestry camp. The primary purpose of the railway was as a freight line to serve the prison of Ushwaya, and hence was known as the, prison train, and was used specifically to transport prisoners to the camps and transport the log timber from forests. The prison was closed in 1947, and the railway was finally closed in 1952, following the reduction in forest resources and an earthquake that damaged the tracks. There are several attractions within the park including the Beagle Channel, the Pipo River Cascade, the Lago Fagnano, Lago Roca, the Ensenada Bay, the Lapatia Bay, the End of the World Train, and the Laguna Negra. In 1994, 40 years after it had been closed as a prison train, the train was revived, refurbished with modern amenities, used as a heritage train, and claimed to be the southernmost functioning railway in the world. A new 2.6.2T steam locomotive, Camila, brought from England in 1995, another made in Argentina, and three diesel locomotives serve on the line. The park can now be reached from the outskirts of Ushuaia from the Fin del Mundo station, 8 kilometers, 5.0 miles, west of Ushuaia, by the Heritage Railway line and runs over 5 kilometers, 3.1 miles, covering the distance in about 50 minutes.